Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to this week's Creative Corner. We are going to be making a mixed media wall hanger that is featured from Creative Bug. Um, so as usual, let's go over our materials first. We'll dive into our workshop and then we'll go ahead and call it a day. As far as our supplies go, it is up to you how you would like to do the decorating portion of it. So um, first, you'll need some of these jumbo size popsicle sticks, uh, roughly six of them. You can also experiment with different uh, shapes and sizes for the overall wall hanger. It's also up to you. But we're also going to be using some uh, yarn to make these tassels as um, decorations. Uh, we have some string. Uh, and I'll show you what we need that for. I have some rocks, I have some buttons, as well as some seashells. We're gonna be, uh, we'll need a, a pair of scissors too as well. And then I also have some hot glue. Um, and then if you want some more decorative pieces, we, uh, we can also paint the popsicle sticks, um, add other elements, it's, it's up to you how you would like to decorate it. So we're gonna start with the base and then go from there. All right, everyone, we are gonna be using these jumbo-sized uh, popsicle sticks. Um, like I mentioned previously, the shape of your overall wall hanger is entirely up to you. Um, I'm gonna be making a hexagon shape, but if you wanted to make a septagon, pentagon, um, an octagon, a square, <laughs> it's up to you how you would like to do this. Um, so, to make a hexagon, you're just gonna put all six sides together. Uh, it's up to you if you want to make this very symmetrical. You can also, like I said, mess with the overall shape and design. And me, I am going to try to stack it on top of one another. Um, so one end's going to be underneath, the other end's going to be on top of the other. Uh, one end will be underneath the first popsicle stick. The other end will be on top of the second popsicle stick. Um. So the sides as are more narrower, and then I have the pointy sides on the top, or the side. And then we're going to go ahead and use our glue stick to glue everything down. So, like I said, a nice diamond shape. It doesn't look exactly like a diamond, which is totally fine with me. But, um, for the decorating part of this, we're going to use our string. And almost kind of like a dream catcher, we're, we're just going to weave this around. I don't know why I flipped it over. <laughs> but, um... One side's gonna be your back, the other side's gonna be your front. So on the back side, I'm just gonna tie the string around the popsicle stick.
it's tight enough that um, uh, there's a last there's not enough not a whole lot of elasticity to it, so it's not going to be bouncing or loose. Um, and then I'm going to glue it down with some hot glue. Move it around just a tad bit. Get the glue on the underside. And if you want to secure your bead in place too, or even if you use smaller beads or larger beads, you can also get some of your hot glue, put it in the, the opening of your bead on both sides, um, but not where it's visible, uh, just so that way it stays in place. So I gotta be careful. I'm gonna hold the string on the opposite side of where I would want it. Put some glue down. Again, making sure that I have the glue on the string. Adding some more on the top. So I put down a base of glue, put the string through it, Put more glue on top of it. The great thing with my glue, a glue gun that I have, is that it's dual temperatured, so it has a low and a hot setting. Um, most hot glue guns aren't gonna have this feature, so if you do use hot glue, be sure to um, allow it to dry, allow it to cool down and harden. Um, but since my glue gun has that nice cool feature I don't have to worry about it too often At a good starting point, have one bead uh, threaded. I should have put on more, but uh, we have more decorations to utilize. So with that, I'm gonna show you how to quickly do the tassel, and then we'll go ahead and continue decorating our um, little wall hanger. All right, everyone. So we're gonna be making some tassels uh, for the also for the decorating portion of our wall hanger. So in order to do this, you'll need some yarn. And then some additional yarn, so two pieces uh, to do the tying, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, it's easy to do it with your hand. I grip it with my thumb and my palm, and then cross my my entire hand, um, just so that way I get more um, longer of a tassel. And I'm just gonna wrap this entire piece of yarn that I grabbed earlier. Okay, so once you have all the, your yarn wrapped around your hand, I'm gonna grab a chunk of it and try to string the first yarn string around the top portion of this and if you need a second pair of hands ask someone to do this otherwise you can put it um, between your knees and try to tie it to as well but this, this is the top of the tassel where it ties onto your wall hanger. 
I'm gonna try to tie as tight as possible to keep the string in place. And I am gonna double knot it to his wall. So that way we have the first bit of the tassel so we have it tied. Um, the second thing we need to do is get our second piece of string and wrap it around. And it's up to you how big you want the top of the tassel bit. So I put maybe about half an inch from the top. And then again, trying to tighten it as much as possible so the string don't move around. And I double knot it. Grab the excess amount of string. Grab my scissors. Cut off that bit. The last thing I need to do is the bottom portion is is all loops. I just want to grab my scissors cut the loops make sure all of them are cut yeah I think so and actually the last thing last last thing is to get all your string together and some of it's uneven, so I'm going to grab my scissors, trim the bit end bits, so they kind of look even with one another. And if you do this, be very careful, especially if you have very sharp scissors. But there we have it. We have a tassel piece, so that way we can de continue decorating our wall hanger. All right, everyone. So I got us started us uh, started with some of the de decorating bits. So we have some fossilized, uh, I think, shark teeth, um, some miniature shells. I have a variety of other shells available um, for decorations too, as well. Some rocks. Um, so it's up to you how you would like to decorate your overall uh, piece, your overall wall hanger. Uh, I'm just gonna use some hot glue. I'm not really focused on how the final product would look. Uh, I just have have the idea of having it um, kind of sea based. And again, if you want to color um, your popsicle sticks, you just need some paints to do this.
and there we have it. We have our mixed media wall hanger. Um, good starting point. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and add some more of the shells and rocks throughout the entire border uh, part of it. And then go ahead and add some of the rest of our tassels to the, the bottom of this too as well. Thank you for joining us on today's Creative Corner session. We went ahead and worked on a mixed media wall hanger. Um, I showed you one way to do it. You're more than welcome to decorate it however you would like to. Incorporate different ideas, different designs, uh, different shapes. It's entirely up to you. But our final product looks okay. Um, so I added more shells, more rocks, um, some of the details to the tassels. I added this like gold button to it too as well. So it's like I said, it's up to you how you would like to do this. Um, Join us next time as we make some more um, art projects. Uh, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our social media platforms. We have everything from Facebook to YouTube to TikTok and more. It is available on the homepage of our website. And we also do have some supply kits available. Uh, if you are interested, we're, we are doing Valentine Art Swap, Crafty Kids, more Creative Corner Sessions. Um, and that's available on the homepage of our website. I will put the link into the video description for you. My name is Joshua. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Mm -hmm.